dear student and sat chire kaal welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we are come up with the revision of class a computer science lesson 5 and lesson 6 you know that the punjab school education board is going to conduct the november december monthly examination we have prepared this video keeping this exam in our mind before proceeding with this video i request you that if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will be notified of all my upcoming videos so let's start the video first of all we take a look at the paper pattern of class a subject computer science a paper of total 12 marks will appear from class 8 lesson 5 ms powerpoint part 3 which will have Six question of one marks, three question of three marks, and one choice question, and no question of five marks will come from this lesson. Similarly, a paper of thirteen marks will come from lesson six, M S PowerPoint Part Four, in which five question of one mark, one question of three marks, and two question of five marks will come from this lesson. out of which one question will be asked by keeping this paper pattern student can score well in the exam now let's start the revision of lesson 5 and lesson 6 through this video so we will now learn about fill in the blank in lesson 5 so first filling the blank is a dash define the design and placement of different element on a slide and there option are background style placeholder slide layout and pattern so the right answer is a slide layout define the design and placement of different element on a slide and second one is a dash is a blend of two or more color merging into each other and the option are theme pattern background style and last one is gradient so the right answer is a pattern is a blend of two or more color merging into each other the third one is dash is the default view where we create edit and design our slide and their option are normal view slide show slide sorter view and reading view so the right answer is a normal view is the default view where we create edit and design our slide and the fourth one is there are dash default slide background style available in powerpoint 2010 and their option are 48 4 12 3 So the right answer is there are twelve default slide background style available in PowerPoint 2010. And the fifth one is the dash control allow us to zoom in for a closer look at slide content. And the option are zoom slide normal view gradient. So the right answer is the zoom control allow us to zoom in for a closer look at slide content. So now we will learn about very short answer type question. So first question is, what is the shortcut key to insert a new slide? So the answer is Control plus M. Second one is, what is the shortcut key to create a new presentation? So the right answer is Control plus N. Third question is, which tab is used to format text on the slide? And the answer is Home tab. Fourth one is, which PowerPoint view is used to deliver? over presentation to an audience so the right answer is slide show view and the fifth one is which bar contain the view button and zoom slider in powerpoint so the right answer is status bar so now we will learn about short answer type question so first question is write the steps to create a new presentation file using the file tab in powerpoint so we can insert slide in the following way click on the file tab click on the new option click on blank presentation click on the create button or you can add a new blank presentation using the control plus n key from your keyboard and the second question is what are placeholder the placeholder presentation consist of container with dotted line in the slide layout in which we can insert various type of content such as table chart picture clip art etc and the third question is what are themes the themes are a set of predefined font and visual effect 
that we can use to present our presentation as a professional looking presentation using the theme make our presentation look attractive and consistent fourth question is type the name of the view button in the status bar of the powerpoint window so name of the view button in the status bar of the powerpoint window are first one is normal view second one is slide sorter view third one is reading view and fourth one is slide show view the fifth question is what is a gradient fill a gradient is a combination of two or more color that blend together the gradient fill option is used to apply the gradient as a slide background the sixth question is what are the option in the fill pan of the format background dialog box so there are four option in the fill pan of the format background dialog box the first one is solid fill second one is gradient fill third one is picture or texture fill and the fourth one is pattern fill now we will learn about long answer type question so the first question is explain in detail the different ways to change the look of a slide so there are two ways to change the look of a slide first one is changing themes so themes are a set of predefined font and visual effect that we can use to present our presentation as a professional looking presentation using the theme makes our presentation look attractive and consistent second one is changing the background style contain background images or design element which are placed on the back of the text chart image etc in the slide background style or fill variation based on theme color which also change the theme and update the background style based on the color of the newly selected theme our second question is what is a slide layout how do you change the layout of a slide in powerpoint the slide layout show that we can determine the design and placement of different element in our slide with the help of slide layout we can enter our favorite object by selecting the relevant layout so step to change the slide layout are select the slide whose layout you want to change click on the layout drop down menu in the slide group or the home tab choose a layout that suit your needs and the third question is describe the powerpoint slide view options so powerpoint slide view option are as follow the first one is normal view this is the default view of powerpoint in this view we can insert design and edit our slide this view has three work area left area with slide tab right area with slide pan and lower area with notes pan and second one is slide sorter view this view display the presentation slide in thumbnail form slide sorter view present the overall picture of the presentation this makes it easier to reorder insert or delete slides and the third one is reading view this view fills most of the computer screen with the preview of our presentation this view show some easy to use navigation button located at the bottom right of the screen and the fourth one is slide show, slide show view we use slide show to present our presentation to the audience there is an additional menu in the slide show view which appear when we mouse hover over it so now we will learn about fill in the blank in the lesson number 6 so our first fill in the blank is a dash is a visual and motion effect that occur when we move from one slide to to the next slide during a presentation and your option are slide transition animation animation scheme and the last one is slide show and the right answer is so slide transition is the visual and motion effect that occur when we move from one slide to the next slide during a presentation and the second one is powerpoint provide dash type of animation and their option are 2 3 4 5 so the right answer is powerpoint provide four type of animation and the third one is powerpoint provide predefined collection of animation effect which are also known as dash and their option are slide transition animation animation scheme and the last one is slide show and the right answer is the powerpoint provide predefined collection of animation effect which are also known as animation scheme and the fourth one is full form of pdf is dash and their option are portable data format portable document form portable data form and the last one is portable document format so the right answer is full form of pdf is portable document format and the fifth one is we can save our powerpoint presentation as a powerpoint show with the dash extension and the option are 
dot ppsx dot ppt dot pptx and the last one is dot pdf so the right answer is we can save our powerpoint presentation as a powerpoint show with dot ppsx extension so now we will learn about full form of lesson number six the first one is jpeg jpeg stands for joint photographic expert group second one is gif gif stands for graphic interchange format third one is bmp bmp stands for bitmap picture fourth one is wmp wmp stands for window media video fifth one is png and png stands for portable network graphics so now we will learn about short answer type question so our first question is what is a slide transition slide transition are visual and motion effect that appear when we move from one slide to the next slide during a presentation slide show we can control the speed of transition effect insert sound into them and change their appearance our second question is what is animation animations are visual effect that show movement on object in a presentation this slide object can be anything text picture chart smart art graphics shapes video clips etc animation helps to make the presentation more dynamic and the third question is what are the animation scheme in powerpoint powerpoint provide a set of predefined animation effect this collection of animation effect is called animation scheme we can apply there is a defined visual effect to a slide object with a single click. And the fourth question is, how would you like to preview the animation in PowerPoint? To test how the animation applied to object will look, we can click on the preview button in the preview group of the animation tab at any time. We can also click on the play button on the animation pane to preview the animation. And the fifth one is write the name of four type of animation in PowerPoint. So name of four type of animation available in PowerPoint are the first one is entrance, second one is in faces, third one is exit and fourth one is motion path. So now we will learn about long answer type questions. So first question is what is animation, what type is it in PowerPoint. So animation are visual effect that show movement on object in a presentation. This slide object can be anything, text, picture, chart, smart art graphic, shape, video clips, etc. Animation helps to make the presentation more dynamic. So there are four types of animation in PowerPoint. The first one is entrance. So entry type animation is used to determine how an object should be entered on the screen during the presentation. And the second one is emphasis. This animation is used to draw the viewer attention to an object. For example, an object can be shown in different way by enlarging its size or changing its color to attract the viewer attention. And third one is exit. Exit type animation is used to determine what an object look like as it move out of slide during the presentation. And the fourth one is motion path. So motion path animation determine how an object moves around a slide. For example, an object can be moved from left to right. And the second question is, how do you save a PowerPoint presentation in PDF format? The step to convert PowerPoint presentation to PDF format. Click on the file tab and click on the save as option. Set the file name and location to save it. From the save as type drop down list, select the PDF format, create a file by clicking the save button. And the third question is, how to implement slide transition in PowerPoint? The steps to implement slide transition in PowerPoint are, select the slide to which the transition is to be applied, click on the transition tab and click on the desired transition effect from the transition to this slide group. Select other option as needed, effect option, sound and time duration. Click on the forward button to see the appearance of the transition. If we want to apply the same transition to all the slides, click on the apply to all option in the timing group. So student, I hope you have revised lesson 5 and lesson 6 through this video very well. I hope you will get good marks in the paper. Thank you.